Oh hey YouTube, Tim here from Squircle. I'm looking at today two MacBook Pros. We've got the M2 16 inch MacBook Pro M2 Max and we've got the i9 from 2019. Both pretty high end machines. Both have 32 gigs of RAM. I'm not gonna repeat all the same rubbish that all the other YouTubers have regurgitated a million times. And we're gonna compare differences in speed and see what they're like to actually use in the real world. We're gonna do a shutdown from clean, nothing really running. Shutdown, which is faster. Oh, MacBook Pro M2 is already done. Meanwhile, the i9, let's just think about it. There's no rush. There we go, it's off. All right, let's start them up. Stereo chimes, that is lovely. Hopefully this one will actually boot in its normal amount of time. The M2 is done, let's log in there. Not bad. And now we wait for the i9. Something weird's going on with that, should not be taking that long. Okay, this test is a, a dud, I don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, it finally booted, here we go, let's log in. Some apps that really annoyed me were Photoshop and Illustrator. They were just so slow at opening. Let's compare how long they take now between the two machines. So this Photoshop finished loading before this startup screen had even popped open. Okay, now let's try Illustrator. Also notoriously slow at starting. Again, that one was almost finished before that startup screen even popped up. It's so fast. This is a completely unfair test because we're running parallels on this machine, booting the ARM version of Windows versus the Intel version of Windows using VMware Fusion. Right, let's begin. Start. It is booting. And the M2 is finished. And now we wait. The Intel machine is, uh, for some reason I don't have auto login on that one, but I do on that one. All right, we're nearly ready. Here it comes. This makes a huge difference. If you just need to get into Windows quickly, do something and then get out of it, this is way easier on the M2. Okay, it's still thinking about it on the uh, Intel machine. There's no rush for these things. Let's take our time. Hey, there we go. Oh, no, it still hasn't finished loading. Okay, we've got our apps. To be fair, I've got a few more apps on this VM than this VM. The main one I use is a little piece of, just a, Intel piece of software from 1832. So we use it for gliding and it's a specific software I can only get on Windows. And what I could never find on the internet was any examples of generic Intel based software running on ARM Windows through the translation layer. And it works fine. So let's go and open a flight. So this app lets us visualize flights in 3D. So let's go to the 3D view and see what that looks like. You can see just how much snappier the Intel one, the, the, sorry, the M2 version is. And here's an example of scrolling around and using the 3D graphics performance through the Windows emulation layer. And it works really well on the Intel machine. The performance is not as good. Look how choppy that is. So it's so much smoother and faster on the M2. Okay, let's get out of that and shut down the machine, see how fast that is. Oh, I've got bloody uh, 
Logitech software on that one. No wonder it's slow. Right, let's go start. Shut down. And see how long they take to actually shut down. Oof, gone. Intel, still waiting. There's no rush for these things. We'll get there. And it's done. Okay, let's crank these up again and have a look at the resume feature. Okay, same software, same version of Windows. Let's just click the close button, which will put both of these to sleep. The Intel one has to go through a saving virtual machine state process. This one appears to run on unicorn magic. It instantly shuts it down. I do not understand what wizardry is happening there. Surely it has to save the memory to disk. And surely that can't be instant. Okay, let's uh, crank it up and start up our uh, instance again. They're both frozen with the same app running. Boom. M2 back in. And now we wait for the Intel one. There we go. Not too bad. Next up, I've got a little Xcode comparison. I've got an app I've been working on. Uh, it's the same project on both. Then we're going to run this on the iPhone 14 Pro emulator and go. Just a little compilation test. Build finished there, it's cranking up the simulator. Still working over here, still building. Finished. Is it cranking up the simulator? This is the first run of the simulator, so it's about as slow as you can get. Still trying to, hasn't even started loading the simulator on here, or has it? Oh no, there it is, it's in behind the scenes. Still booting the simulator. This one's all finished, this one's still booting. And still going. Just everything is so much faster. It's almost got there. We're going to have to plug in the power shortly. And we're done. Okay, next up I want to compare the speed of plugging in an LG 5K display, which is what I've got on the wall behind me here. Fans have already cranked up on the Intel one again. So let's see what the Intel does. There's lots of windows open on the machine at the moment. Let's see how long that takes to wake up the display. thinking about it okay we're in we've got dual screen now lovely now I'm going to close this laptop and watch it go into clamshell mode see how long it takes to rearrange the windows waiting waiting and we're there okay let's open up the laptop again go out of clamshell mode see how long this takes Waiting, 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 flickering, flickering, deciding what to do, and it's done. Oh, flickering, no, one more flicker. Okay, we're done. Now I'm going to unplug the screen and see what happens. And we're back to normal. Let's compare to the M2 MacBook Pro. Okay, we've plugged it in. And now it's dual screening. No blinking, no flashing. Let's put it into clamshell mode. Instant. That blew my mind. But quite frankly, that's kind of what you'd expect to happen. You know, the computer, what does it have to do? Let's go back into dual screen mode. Not a problem. See it again. Instant. Let's go back instant unbelievable okay let's unplug it see how long it takes to rejig everything on here almost instant let's plug it in again just to double check this isn't a fluke it's got power boom so much faster so if you're looking for a laptop to run as with an external display 
the M2 MacBook Pro is amazing. The other thing I noticed when I was running the i9 on the 5K display, it would usually crank up the fans and get hot. And then if it got too hot, start getting sluggish and slow. And I think that's just because the struggle to drive that many pixels all the time. Whereas this thing handles it flawlessly. Okay, another important test, wake from sleep. Instant. This one, I'd keep tapping on the controls. Are you awake? Okay, we're in. Another fun feature of the i9 is I'd often put it in my laptop bag and come back and find that the bag is hot. It hasn't slept properly and the battery is almost drained. Sometimes it does actually drain. Very frustrating when you put the laptop to sleep, it should just sleep and not use any battery. And I tried changing all the settings to make sure it wasn't doing things while it was sleeping. Didn't have any effect. Haven't experienced that with the new one yet, but haven't really tested it much either. Final test, a JavaScript uh, build process test. So I'm running Laravel project that uses Vue and this is the build process for the JavaScript and the CSS to compile it all. Let's see what it takes to uh, compile this into production ready code. Starting both exactly the same project on both. Takes a bit of time. That one is done. This one's still thinking about it. And we're done. So that took 15 seconds. The MacBook M2 took six seconds. Well, as you can probably tell, I'm smitten with my new laptop. It's so fast. Editing videos is gonna be so much faster and easier. The old one used to get bogged down quite easily as soon as I added a few layers or put some titles on top of some of the 4K footage. This should be so fast. Thanks for watching. And if you've got any comments or questions, add them below. We'll be happy to answer them.